key feature of Spire Beta is the ability to um, show selections in the 3D view and have those synchronised with the tables. So here I've docked the 3D view in the corner window and so if I select um, a particular hole you'll see that, that shows up <coughs> in the table. Um, similarly if I click, select another hole or a bend or a T, likewise they show up on a 3D view. Um, similarly I can click in the tree and the same thing will happen here, I'm selecting a whole section, select the detector itself, select the whole pipe, um, basically those things will then update 3D view. But it actually goes further than that, that if I go to the detector and look at say the groups, then if I select a sample point somewhere in the group table that's highlighted on 3D view and similarly selecting um, a sample point on a 3D view will update the table. Um, and also that selection is shared between the group details and the sampling point sensitivity. So here we've got section 2.2. Two. We go over here we see the same point selected there and similarly the same behaviour here. Select a sample point here, it shows up in a 3D view. And uh, again, changing the 3D view shows up here. If you select something like a bend or some other feature that's not relevant to sample point or group details, then obviously nothing is will be selected up there. But you still get the same, all your options of being able to insert and delete, etc., um, are still available to you. Now, one thing that's not so apparent, if I go back to group details, is you can actually select a whole group. Now in this case this isn't particularly interesting, we've just got one group, but let's add a second group in here um, and let's assign across some of those holes. Now in this case I'm actually deliberately making a mistake and in including um, the first hole of the second section. But when I highlight it, you can see in the 3D view it's quite obvious now that I've picked up an extra point here that I shouldn't have. So hence being able to highlight groups um, gives you a very good feel of how the holes are aggregating, going to aggregate together. Now I can select that whole group by selecting it in the table here or vice versa I can go to the 3D view and I can double click on a hole and it will show me the, essentially highlight all the holes associated with the group that that hole belonged to. So similarly if I go and select a double click on here I'll get um, that first default group um, highlighted. Now that behaviour at the double click of actually selecting everything that's relevant for the context is very context dependent. So if I go over here to the pipe, so I'm looking more at the pipe table, in that case double clicking means to select everything up to the parent branch. So if I double click at this point here, I'll select the whole pipe, double click down here, selects essentially just that whole section there. Um, and you can see that if I just bring up the full 3D view, we'll just pull that here so we can see it. Um, I go back here and just set it to the group. So we're working within the group details. Let me just bring that back up. Um, you'll see that at the moment I've got the properties here of this sample point, this hole, um, when I double click on it I'm actually getting the properties of the group that belong to. So all these things stay consistent. And that basically wraps up using selection within the Aspire Beta program.